Welcome to Tamish Max. It's miscellaneous today. Uh, it's not that all the miscellaneous are very lengthy. <coughs> Sorry. This is a very simple, simple, simple question, but um, it has a concept. Okay. I just want to emphasize on the concept, so I chose this question today. Show that the equation. 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x plus 6 has exactly one real root. It should be one real root. One real root. That's exactly one real root. It is a cubic. So either all the three are real or one is real, isn't it? Can you suggest me something? How am I to solve this? Am I going to solve it? It's a cubic. Generally, how do we solve the cubic? Uh, maybe I will try a factor theorem where I try the factors of 6, the constant 2, minus 2, 6, minus, like that I try and uh, then I make a long division and then I get a quadratic and I solve it. That is what generally we do. But here, I don't want to do all that and you won't get anything also. If I factors, if you put 2, minus 2 and all that, it doesn't become 0. Whenever a function is increasing, whenever a function is increasing, there is just one root because it will cross the axis only once. A function is increasing means it always goes like this. It always goes like this. So, it will cross the axis only once. It don't come down and cross again. Wherever it crosses the axis, there are so many roots. So when a function is strictly increasing, there is only one real root. In the same way, when a function is decreasing, even then there will be only one root. Now let us say fx is this. A very lovely, lovely, simple question which teaches you a lot of concepts. And today I was... Uh, a very specific, I wanted to give a simple question where a very important concept is based. So this is simple. Usually my questions in this way, yes, uh, will be a little lengthy, will be very challenging and all that. I don't say this is not challenging, it is. Uh, but if you know the concept, there's nothing in that, isn't it? So fx is this. What's going to be f dash x? 6x squared minus 6x plus 6. This is f dash x. Take 6 outside. Find x square minus 6 plus 1. 6 outside. This is x minus half whole square plus 3 by 4. Always, 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 always positive. Always greater than 0 f dash x is always greater than 0. When f dash x is greater than 0, it is an increasing function. When f dash x is less than 0, it is a decreasing function. It is always positive. Therefore, it is always increasing. It is positive and negative in some way, then there will be ups and downs. The curve will be going like that. But here, it is positive always f dash x is positive always, it's an increasing function, strictly increasing, so there will be only one real root. It's increasing. So when a function is increasing, only one real root. Now I repeat, it's a very simple question I've chosen for today's class, but it's a very important concept. I've given you a cubic equation and I've asked you to show so it is having only one real root. <laughs> Sorry. When a function is strictly increasing, the curve will go up and it will cross the axis only once and there will be only one root. There is no chance it will cross again. So here fx is this, f dash x is this and f dash x is always positive. It is strictly increasing so there is only one real root. I hope you enjoyed it. A very simple concept. Don't underestimate simple things. It is an important concept. The concepts are very, very important. Function is increasing. There is only one real rule. So we will meet in the next video with more questions.